Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I can't complain, teacher. Good, good. That's the attitude. I can't complain either. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Maria, Ronald, and Sophia, how was your day? It was good, teacher. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Nice, nice. Without money, but I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, in, in this um, pandemic situation, you know, money can make a difference, but in reality, it is something secondary. Your health is first. Yeah, that's right. Staying alive is first. Yeah. But anyways, okay. Um, welcome back. It is September 1st. Do you guys like September? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, it's <laughs> not, 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 not much special. special. <laughs> yeah, I think independence is the uh, the main relevant event that we have in El Salvador for for September. Yes. So, uh, but I, September is okay. Only for for uh, for the the day this day, but for okay. the rest of the month we don't have other. Right, right. Yes. Um. Do you guys go watch the parades? Parades is the feeling. Yes. Mm. Parades. Nope. <laughs> um, what was the nope. question? Do you guys go and watch the parades? No, I don't. I don't like the parades. Okay. For me, it's a little bit more. Okay. But I but like parades. The only thing that I that I that I say maybe for the cachiporristas. Okay. Only for <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you know that's that's a very Salvadorian tradition. You know, like. Uh, the police march, uh, the army, the students. So uh, I think it's a nice event. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that there will be nothing uh, like what we have had all these past years, you know. So maybe the military school or, or, or the police department, they, they do something, but not for the open public. Anyways, uh, so welcome back. It's uh, September 1st, 2020. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Do you? Hmm. Check your notes. Surveillance. Uh, surveillance, yes. Surveillance. Yes, that was one of the topics. You guys were discussing if surveillance uh, was good in your job. And most of you guys said, yeah, it's a, it's a good idea to have surveillance um, at work. Yes. Okay, um, what else did we talk about? 
we were discuss about words, their meanings. Okay, yes, we were discussing about the meaning of words. That is correct. Yes. Any questions about surveillance or the meaning of the vocabulary? The pronunciation about re reassure or reassure. Reassure. Uh, reassure. Reassure, yes. How do you say reassure in Spanish? Reassure means tranquilizar. Um, asegurar. Confirmar. Uh -huh. So uh, when you reassure um, your version about any incident, you are making things uh, clear when you reassure. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions or comments about the vocabulary or the conversations that we had? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us begin. Let me see this here. Share. So we are on page 34. Page 34. Let's open the book first. Okay, let me see this here. Thirty-four, page thirty-four. Ha ha ha. Thirty-three, thirty-four. Okay, so once again, we will start with vocabulary. Let me send you the image so things are easier for you guys. Let me... My goodness, where's the group? Oh no, I have it in a... Give me a second. And I forget to give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, here you are. There. Okay, so how many words do you see in the chat? Six. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, six is all right. Six okay. is correct. Six. Okay, how do you pronounce number one? Whoa. Goal. Number two? Feedback. Feedback. How do you pronounce number three? Budget. 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 Number four, you say knowledge gap. Number five is coaching. And number six is qualifications. Qualification. Yes, so your first job, your first exercise, um, you guys will be getting, uh, will be working in pairs and you will do the matching exercise, real, really simple. So let me, <laughs> ah, not this one. Okay, create rooms. And all right, so here we go.
Number one, goal. Quality that makes someone suffer. Estimation, helpful. Desires. Uh -huh. mm. uh, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular suitable. job. Suitable. Suitable. Suitable, yes. What, what, what means suitable? Um, that you're the correct person. Ah. Uh, yes. Maybe cool be a qualification right that you're qualified yes qualified okay that's that's the meaning of it okay feedback is como retroalimentación mm -hmm. yeah oh. okay so feedback is helpful information I teach you about the yep. the word gap Knowledge gap. Yeah, uh, knowledge gap. Uh, it makes reference to your deficiencies. So if, uh, if I start asking you questions about a particular topic and maybe you answer 50%, I will say um, she has 50% of knowledge gap. So you need to reinforce that area. Okay, and only the, the word gap? Gap means a space, a blank. Okay, a okay, blank. okay. Yes. Got it. All right. Thank you. Nation of income and expenses. Which budget. one? Budget. Yeah, budget. Budget, budget. and expectation of income and expenses. Yeah. Yes. So if I tell you I need to buy a car and then you ask me what is your budget, you are saying how much money I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No gap. What's the meaning of gap? Mm. No. Right. Yes. Gap means blanks. Okay. Yes. This exercise is more difficult than others. Do you, do you feel that? Yes, yes. because it's, it's a little bit confused. Yeah. But for me, the co coaching, co coaching. 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 Coaching is uh, the process of improving the performance of employee. Maybe I'm wrong. What do you think, Mercy? I don't know. 
Teacher, this exercise is more difficult than others. <laughs> you think so? Why? I don't know because I I I think that the the context is a little bit uh, difficult. Maybe maybe it's a is the meaning of the words the context. Okay. But we are trying. Okay. Good. Good. You guys will get the right answers. Watch. Sweet table for suitable. a particular suitable for a particular suitable 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 yes suitable yes suitable for a particular yes so. qualification qualification so goal is a desired result possible outcome outcome mm -hmm. uh, yes what do you think what do you say Helen sorry goal the number one Yes. A desired result or possible outcome. I think. It's a uh, um, el resultado deseado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's one. Yes. And knowledge gap, an irregular balance of what a person should know. Yes. So we finish. What is have you know the meaning of knowledge gap in Spanish? Teacher, what do you say? Okay, do, do you remember the meaning of the word gap? Yes. Oh. What, what is a gap? I think a gap is uh, like a M. Yes. For knowledge or or excuse that a person or something, yes, a person maybe have. Okay, yes, yeah, so an example, if, if you start asking Francisco things about cars, like mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is the problem with this noise, with the engine? And mm -hmm. Francisco says, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So Francisco mm -hmm. has knowledge gaps about mm -hmm. mechanics. Mm -hmm. So knowledge gap is when you have deficiency about a particular topic, Samuel. Uh, so in Spanish, sería como descono desconocer, desconocimiento, yeah. I would say. Yeah, desconocimiento, yes. Knowledge gap. Oh, okay, thanks. Good, very good. Did you guys finish all the exercise? Yes. All right, so let's go back. Fernando, Fernando. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very good, teacher. Nice. Yes. Uh, for, um, for the moment, I'm a little tired, teacher. <laughs> yes. I think that yes. everybody's tired. I'm yes. tired myself. Yes. Now the work was heavy. Okay. Heavier yes. than usual? Um. More, usually, more difficult than other days? Yes, dear. Mm, usually, teacher. Okay. For the for the web page, for, for the web page. All right. Okay, so let's get the answers. Um, 
Where do you have number one, gold? Where do you have number one? A desired result or possible outcome. Good, very good. A desired result or possible outcome. Good. Do you have a, a synonym for the word goal? What is your goal? Objective. Yes, goal is a synonym of objective. Very good. Number two, feedback. Where do you have number two? Helpful information or criticisms about the performance of a person. Very good. Remember, the word helpful is really necessary. So uh, when you get supervision, and after the supervision is over, they make a report. They make a report about the good things that you have and the areas that you guys need to improve. So that information in theory should be helpful, should be positive. Okay, what about number three, budget? An estimation of income and expenses. Okay, good. An estimation of income and expenses. How Peter, do you sorry. Yes. Uh, which page is? Uh, page 34. Okay. Page 34, yes. All right. Budget. How do you say budget in Spanish? Presupuesto. Uh -huh. How do you say feedback? Good. Very good. Okay. Number four, knowledge gap. What is number four? Uh -huh. An, irregular An irregular balance or what a person should know. Right. So let's say um, you should know 100% of the area where you're working, but they detect that maybe you're given 75, 80, 85. So there is a knowledge gap of 15% or 20%. Okay, number five, coaching. What is coaching? The process of improving the performance of an employee. Right, good. It's the process of improving the performance of an employee. And qualifications, what are qualifications? A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Very good, thank you. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word suitable? Suitable. What's the meaning of suitable? Uh, no, I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. Suitable is when someone is the ideal or the correct person for a particular position. La persona correcta sería o yes, yes, yeah. the correct person, the ideal person. Yeah. Yes. So when you apply for a job and you tell people, you know what? I don't have problems with schedule. Um, I speak the language. I have a driver's license. I know computer skills. So I think I'm suitable for the position that you guys are offering. So people get the job. All right, um, any questions or comments about this? No? Okay. So now we go to part six. Part six says, identifying training opportunities for personnel. Label the description of the process with the right heading. So we have one, two, three, four, five headings. Your mission is to write a name with this vocabulary here for each uh, mini paragraph. So if you think that analyze the job is number one, you put analyze the job here. If you think that the side skills and knowledge gaps is the answer for number three, you put number three here. Is it clear? Yes. All right, so let me recreate the 
rooms four move to five move to five and move to five as well and then the others would be should be all right room two move to room one okay so i guess uh this is it so let's do this Huh? Enjoy your dinner. Thanks. Or to practice. I, 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 I just, I, I am prepared some eggs. Some eggs and some meat. Some cheese, some cream, cheese, tortillas, cream, avocado. Oh, teacher. <laughs> Stop, teachers. <laughs> Coralia, you didn't have a uh, dinner yet? Yes, I am dinner, but I am in a diet. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I can eat bread and I love the bread, but it's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. bread, bread can get you, um, you know, carbohydrates. So if you really yeah. want to lose weight, you have to sacrifice the bread. Yes, I have. I I, I yep. must. <laughs> and how much time have you been in the in the in the diet, Coralia? Uh, for a month. Okay. I have a month on diet. Okay. It's yes, for my healthy. <laughs> good, good. It's for your health. Nice. Yes, yes. It's for my health. Very good. Don't yes, stop but, now. Thank you. All but right, Ronald good. eats dinner. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Ronald is tempting you to yes, break the diet. Yes. All right. Yes. That does well. And what need, needs improvement? Check for qualification training, course, and responsibilities for previous positions. Get more individual information from human resources. Mm -hmm. I think there is beside the skill and knowledge gaps. Progress. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of uh, this. How, how can I say? Uh, I. ¿Cómo se dice? Phobia in English. Phobia. It's the same. Uh -huh. 
It's the phobia. same. Ah. So you say, I uh, have phobia for spiders. Phobia. I have phobia okay. for heights, for example. Uh, I have phobias for uh, cucaracha, como se dice? Cockroaches. <laughs> really? Cockroach. Cockroaches. Yes. yes. Uh, so, I, so, I acabo so, de ver una y salí corriendo para la <laughs> cocina. <laughs> Okay. Sí, visto su cara. Yo estaba cerca. Ay, no. <laughs> okay, so, so what is your reaction when you see a cockroach, Josué? Uh, 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 the first is go go around. Okay. And yes. Yeah, Run. cockroaches are, are, are disgusting. I hate cockroaches too. Uh, but yes. I kill them. When I see them, I kill them. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, me, me too. too. I kill them. I don't yeah. run. I kill them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It I'm happened bad. to me with the spires. I mean, that is dead for me. Really? I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's I, I like so spiders. I like no. spiders. Mm -hmm. Tarantulas. I can't. I yeah. can't. Uh, just imagine that, that my, my, my body... <laughs> Se pone nervioso. <laughs> Just thinking about that. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, right. I think the uh, analyze job is number one. I don't know. Which which one are you doing now, Christian and Maria? We are doing the analyze the job. Okay, in which number do you think it's analyze the job? Uh, so then, um, into number one and number four. Okay, so it, it, it has to be uh, uh, another one different. What? It, it, it's a different number. Yes. Mm hmm. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> so maybe you need to reorganize um, your your previous answers. Okay. Maybe. Number three. Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check. If there is a still evidence of a deficit, deficit, deficiency in skills or knowledge, teacher, how do you say deficiency? Uh, what what number are you reading right now? Number, number three. three. Number three. Let me move. Uh, this the right second right. line of number three. Okay, uh, as staff members to check and evaluate their progress, look at the work area and hold on and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in skill knowledge. Okay, deficiency. yeah, deficiency. Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. Deficiency skill or knowledge. Mm -hmm. Ask staff members. To Evaluate the pros, look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of different science skills or knowledge. Se llenaban los campos. Okay. ¿Cuál pusimos ahí? Ya no me acuerdo. En la uh, number four. Design skill. This, this I still in uh, knowledge gaps. ¿Cuál pusimos en la número uno? No, number one is identify personal covering Ident skill. Identify personal. La número dos. La número, la number, la number two is identify identify training solution identify identify identify, identify. yes identify and, and better yeah, when. 
Marcela. Hello. How are you, Marcela? Fine. Good. Araceli, how was your day, Araceli? Uh, my day is great. You had a good day. Yes. Yeah. Good. Nice. Sophia, did you work today? Yes. How is your leg? Yeah. It's better, really better. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, she got resigned. What is it? What? Está cicatrizando? Oh, it's healing. Mm, yes. Healing. Mm. It's healing. Good, good. Mm, yes. All right, good. Good to hear that. Thank you. Room one. Okay. You guys are room, okay. Room five. What the employees do does well? And what needs needs improvement? Check for the qualifications, training courses, and responsibilities from pro, from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resources. Could be identify training solutions. Um, no, I, I think that one is evaluate. evaluate performance. Yeah. Yeah, evaluate performance. Which number do you give to evaluate performance after training? Four. Four. Four? Okay. Discuss. Besides yeah. skills and knowledge gaps, maybe. In, in, in what number? For the three. For number three. Or five. I don't know. Which which one are you doing right now? Um. We are confused. Okay. We are confused with the three and the five. Three and five. Okay. Now, where where did you write number one? What is number one for you guys? Uh, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay, current skills. It's it's not exactly that one, but maybe you want to change it a little bit. Okay. 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 List all list all opportunities and new areas of improvement where training is necessary to ah that is design skills and knowledge gaps. Christian. Hi, teacher. How are you, Christian? Um, very good. Yeah. You? Did you did you work today? Yes. What time did you finish? What time did you finish uh, working? Five. Five, 5 p.m. Finish. Yes. And what time did you start? Uh, eight. Eight p.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. So you work Sorry. from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. To 5 p.m. Okay. Okay. And do you work tomorrow? Yes. Yes. So you're back in the regular schedule with the normal schedule. Um, you're working 40 hours a week. Are you working 40 hours a week? No, no entendí. Está trabajando las 40 horas. Uh, or yes. 44, 46. Sí, sí. Ah, okay, yes. 
So your schedule is, 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 is normal now. Normal now. Okay. So let me visit one more. Wendy. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Hello, Wendy. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit tired. I don't know why, but I, I, I feel like I, I need to rest a little bit. Oh, me too. I feel so tired because uh, today we have to do a lot of uh, uh, package to send a customer and we have to release uh, all the bills to pay the providers. Uh -huh. So, I so you were busy? Uh, yes, all day. Okay. All right. So we, we, we have like one hour and 15 minutes and then we all go to sleep. We are doing as um, only put the answer, right? Yeah, only put for the name the... for each uh, mini paragraph. Okay. Yes. Observe that employees does well and what needs improvement. Check mm -hmm. for qualifications, training course, and responsibilities from previous position, the non individual. Uh, so we have for number one, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Good. For number two, identify training solutions. Good. Number three, Evaluate performance after training. Good. Number four, identify personal. Good. Yay. You got it. Yay. You got it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, that is that is uh, difficult. <laughs> uh, it, it may be a little bit confusing because uh, uh, some of the information. In, in in different paragraphs can be similar. So you say, which is which? Yes, you know? yes, that, uh, for that it's, it's yes. difficult, but we, we did it. <laughs> good, good. Magdalena, how are you? Very tired, teacher. You're tired. Did you work today? Mm, did you work? Is. How many hours do you work every day, Magdalena? Mm. Eight mm. hours, 10 hours, 12 hours? Mm. 10 hours, teacher. 10 hours. Mm. Long mm. shift. Yes, teacher. Coralia, how many hours do you usually work every day? I usually work um, eight Eight, eight hours. hours. Eight hours. So you have in some, uh, you, in some case uh, nine hours. Okay, but but nine is the it's maximum. Um, the maximum is twelve, twelve hours. Okay. But when we are um, in a normal in a normal situation. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay.
All right, welcome back. Okay, so I imagine that everybody finished um, putting the names for each small paragraph. So number one, uh, what is the name for the mini paragraph number one? Uh -huh. Identify personal current skills and knowledge. Not exactly. <laughs> Someone else has a different answer for the first one? Somebody, anybody? So the answer for number one is decide skills and knowledge gaps. That is the first one. That is the first Decide the skills. Yes, acknowledge gaps. Thank you. Okay, what about number two? Identify training solutions. Mm -hmm. Number two is identify training solutions. Mm -hmm. Number three. Evaluate performance after training. Evaluate performance after training. That is number three. Then we have number four. Identify personal current skills and knowledge. And number five, analyze the job. Did you have the same answers? Yes. Yes. Good. Very good. Now, if you have any questions of why your answers were different, please ask me. So just in case you don't understand why your answers were different. Any questions or comments? No. All right. So it is. 8.50, I will assign you to work in pairs again. I will give you 10 minutes exactly. In 10 minutes, I will take attendance. When you hear your name, literally you need to say present. So they know uh, that you are really present. So let me, uh, well, I'm going to leave you working the same way you are right now. I will move with this guy. Hold on, hold on. Seven. Seven. Room six. Where is the other one? Wow. Room six as well. So one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Move to eight and move to eight. All right, so I guess we're set. Let's do this.
las diez preguntas. Uh, why is English so important? I think the English is so important because uh, these idioms open a lot of doors in so many cases. For example, if you want to get a better job, if you want to visit a new country, or maybe if you only want to want to learn another yes. idiom. What do you think? I think... You maybe talk with any, anyone. Everybody. In, in wherever place mm -hmm. or country. But I at least uh, I I what you like and this like because it's difficult to learn. Yes, it's difficult to learn. And to be time. Yes. Learn. Yes. Next, do you think English is more difficult than your language? Yes, it's more difficult. Mm, or maybe not because in Spanish it's more folkloric and <laughs> they have more uh, mm -hmm. because also I want to to know another language because nowadays it's, it's very important to know at least two language or more. Exactly. So, That's very good. What he asked on the different topics, new business is my book. Which number are you discussing right now? Uh, number one, analyze the why is English so important? I, in, the, in my day, is I meeting with the bad for the app on the different aspects and the new business is my book. Okay, very good. So English is very important in your office, Araceli. Yes, yes, I, I need you so much. Okay, good, very good. Please, yes. Yeah, you have this. I agree with you. And the most is when you can speak English, you, you can speak with other people. Or, uh, to other country, uh, you do, you, you can communicate. Even if you want something special that uh, you you buy in internet and the instruction are in English, it's very oh, yeah. necessary because yeah. some yeah. the instructions are not in Spanish. Yeah, you have reason. <laughs> you are so, right. So, you are right. You are right. Um, what is next? Okay, thanks. Uh, do you think English is more difficult than your language? Uh, uh, that's the other things that the people always say that uh, uh -huh. okay. is more difficult than English, but I really don't know. You have to learn a lot of things if you want to, to speak in English. If you want to speak in past, you have to know a lot of things. How to, to use the, the verb in past or the, of the correct grammar of the sentence. Mm -hmm. it's not easy. Okay. Yes. In, in, in 
Spanish, uh, there are many forms to say something. <laughs> Which one are you discussing right now? Number three. Number three, do you think, uh-huh. Do you think Spanish is more difficult than English? Yes. yes. It is. Spanish is more complete, so there is more information and in everything. Yeah. Yes. So people need to explain uh, much more when they are uh, in the teaching process. Yes. All right, excuse the interruption. I need to take attendance. Um, Sophia Stephanie? Present. Very good. Uh, Fernando Arturo? Present, teacher. Good. Coralia? Present, teacher. Okay, good. Ronald? Present. Good. Katya. Present. Very good. Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Uh -huh. Christian Alexander. Present. Very good. Uh, Josue Edgardo. Present. Good. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Samuel Rosales. Present. Good. Rocio Mejia. She's absent. Mercy Carolina. Present. Okay. Araceli de Santos. Araceli. Okay, very good. I hear you, Araceli. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Good. Helen. Present. Very good. Luis Alberto. He's absent. Uh, Stephanie Montano, she's absent too. Christian Omar, he's absent. Wendy Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. And Magdalena. Present, teacher. Very good. Okay, so remember, uh, what I mentioned the other day, uh, in every session, you guys accumulate a number of minutes. So the system register how many minutes exactly each person is connected in every session. So keep that in mind. So I will send you back to the, to the rooms where you were and finish speaking.
to El Tunco and I try to speaking with other people. But first, I feel a little bit fear trying to, to speak in English. But after that, I think that is it was cool because when you try to speak with other people, uh, you, you, you practice your English mm -hmm. and you, you, you can, and you can uh, know uh, a lot of people. So, uh, and maybe the last one that I, that I, that I get the, the, that I get the, that I decide to, to learn English, uh, it was that my girlfriend speaks English very good. So, uh, I would like to speak with her uh, only in English in my home. Good. But I think that, well, I have been studying English last year, but the, the, the academy, uh, closed uh, uh, for the coronavirus. So I think that Hello, Marcela. Hello, teacher. Where is Sofia? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, were you guys discussing the, the questions uh, in the document? Yes, we finished. Oh, you finished already? Yes. Okay. So what is the thing that you like the most about English, uh, Marcela? Well, uh, learn something new. Okay. Of course. Okay, and the thing that you like the least, the thing you don't like? Maybe I can, the pronunciation. Okay. Sometimes I can. Okay. Now, what is your favorite word in English and why? Uh, apple. I like the apples. <laughs> okay. So you like that word? Yes. <laughs> okay. Of the four macro skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing, which one do you think is the most relevant? Uh, for me, listening and speaking. Okay. Good. Is most important. Sure. Yeah. Listening and speaking. Now, how important is English in your work? Um, right now, it's not too, too important. Okay. Mm -hmm. You work in a bank, right? Yes, I work at a bank. Okay. In my area, no. Okay, but soon um, English will be so normal in, in, in all the companies, in, in everywhere you work. Yes, it's, it's true. Okay. And what was your opinion of English when you were in school? At school is, is bad. The, English. Okay. Uh, more basic. Yes, in schools, in the regular schools in El Salvador, they teach you the basic uh, things. Mm -hmm. uh, ni vera, ni básicas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Sofia is back. All right. So, I'm going to leave you guys so you can practice more uh, math in english uh, science in english okay uh, everything is in english and in this case is very useful so josue you're mentioning different subjects in english are you talking about champagnat uh, Yes, uh, I said that for get a better job, uh, it's important. English is important because uh, in someone, in some schools, 
uh, every every how do you say materia? Every subject. Uh, every subject uh, are in English. Uh, for example, math in English, uh, science in English, and whatever is in English. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, which number were you doing right now? Number six. Okay. Six. Mm -hmm. All right, good. I never try to to get the visa. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you, Rocio? I'm okay, teacher. And you? I'm doing okay. Good. Thank That's you great, for asking. Teacher. How was your day? It was good, teacher. What time did you finish working? Oh, like uh, 7 p.m. Okay. And, yes. and what's the distance from your house to your workplace? In a car, 25 minutes. In about 30 minutes. Okay. So where mm -hmm. where, where where do you live? Eh, al final de la Colonia Escalón. Um, Manos de León. No. No, final Colonia Escalón. Final Colonia Escalón. Is there mm -hmm. a reference point there? Pero donde vamos Ferrer? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Near yes, 40 20. Yeah. <laughs> mm, so so. <laughs> okay. So All so. Right. And where is your workplace? In Colonia Flor Blanca. Okay. So it's a uh, yeah, like 25 minutes in a car. Yes. Without by bus, traffic. Yeah, by bus it's 45 30 minutes. minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, so mm -hmm. you catch the 52 uh, line? 52 line, yes. <laughs> okay, Luceiro. Yes. No, la del Carmen. Carmen. Oh. Solo micro, only microbus. <laughs> yes, only coasters. Ah, uh, coasters. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Yes, it's it. Opportunities. And you have to, oh, and one of that opportunities, I think you, you have to talk a lot of people when you are a bilingual. Bilingual. Okay. Bilingual, sorry. Mm -hmm. To earn more money. <laughs> yes. Yes. All this <laughs> over the next one. I think that is a good, um, a good chance for for me if I was if I will be a bilingual. Bilingual. 
que sí. tienen que ser dentro del, del, del horario de trabajo, podría ser. Which number are you discussing? Eh, number four, identify training solution. What time of training program will be? Oh. To the level the killer life. Okay. I need need webinar. Uh, uh, so number four, the answer was identify personnel's current skills and knowledge. That was the answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, the next one is um, Do you worry about making mistake in English? <laughs> Um, at the start, at the start. Yes. Uh, at the beginning, at the start. We, 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 I think that we always think maybe if I I say the, a wrong word, uh, they will make fun of me. <laughs> it's, yes. not, it's one of the, the, the spooky things of mm -hmm. speaking English. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is. And, and it shouldn't be because making mistakes is, is part of the learning process, you know. Mm -hmm. But adults, we're a little bit different. Like, no, like, like Samuel says, if I say something, I will say it the wrong way and they will make fun of me, you know. Mm -hmm. So nobody wants to be the one where people are laughing at you. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a, it's a good That's why he is always scared. Uh, practice English. Uh -huh. It's terrifying. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but making mistakes is, is, is part of the learning process. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you when you uh, for have a lot of excess. What when is it, someone? Now I'm strong for have a lot of X. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Coralia, That's you were saying? No, when you understand that and uh, the mistakes are good to learn, yeah, you have more, more confidence. More, more confidence, yes, because right. at the start I have a lot of a lot of, of what? Uh, mistakes. Fear. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I have fear and I don't speak anything i don't speak anything yes i prefer write because when you write you will you can correct right correct, correct but no yeah yeah but i i see the change uh most of you guys have made like uh like coralia you're very open when when you speak and that's good i was saying that to 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 hear that she have a lot of fluency. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You so, too, Samuel? Yes, Samuel is very fluent too. Yes, he's very yeah. fluent. Thanks. Yeah, that's good. All right, so it's- Thanks all... to you, teacher. No, I'm, I'm not doing anything. You guys are doing the, 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 the work. Yes, you, you are a guy. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Which question are you discussing? The second one. Oh, the second one. Yes, of course. Yeah. The things that you like the most and the least. Yes. What is what is your favorite part about English? Ooh. Anybody? Uh, I think that. that that I think it uh, could be the pronunciation. Okay. I like to hear foreign people speaking. Okay. 
but in in I don't know. Sometimes I I feel that English is a little bit full. For example, uh, I read uh, some words. For example, I I told her that this thing I read that the name is ring finger. Yes. So it is a little bit funny. I don't know yeah. because uh, the people in the United States try to 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 combine two words. I think sometimes. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it, it it's yeah, I mean learning new words will definitely make your life easier. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Behavior. Behavior. Yes. Yes, it is. About in so, in high school, I was a study secretary, mm. but they teach to other uh, to other type. For example, was like a secretary bilingual, uh -huh. bilingual mm. secretary. Yes, but but they girls speak English very well. Okay. So you learn a lot. Yes. What school, uh, Mercy? In San Bartolo. Okay. But it was an, an especially, como especialidad, I don't Jerusalén? know. Jerusalén? Jerusalén? No. No. It was in the public. Oh. High school. Okay. Good, good. So you graduated maybe like six years ago? More, maybe eight, eight years ago. Okay. In 2012. 2012, yeah, that's, that's recent. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's very recent. Helen, when did you finish your high school? 2008. 2008. Okay. Long time ago. No. You know when I graduated from high school? <laughs> I graduated when? from high school in 1990. Ah, I, didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. Born. I hadn't been born. Exactly. I haven't been, been born. Yes. I was born in 92. I was like six years. Six years old. Years. Okay. Yeah, I graduated in 1990. Yes. 90. Yes. It's it, now that's that's a a few years ago. A few years. And where where was the the school? Uh, it was in California. No. Mm. In San Francisco. So you you born in in US or no, you I, moved I, to No, I I was born here in El Salvador. Um uh, but when I was 14 years old, my parents uh they made the decision to go to the to the United States because of the conflict because we left in 1986. Mm -hmm. So uh but I was born here. I was born here. Okay. Oh, perfect. And yes. People? Okay. See? <laughs> you finished the questions already, huh? Yes. yes. Yeah, you, you guys you guys go very fast. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me visit one more. Okay. Did you guys finish? Yes. yes sir. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so why is English so important? I need a volunteer to answer that question. 
anybody? Or do I have to use the list? <clears throat> Why is English so important, Fernando? Uh, teacher, it's important for the yours, for the travels, uh, for the different for the different type, teacher. Okay. Yes, English is yes. important in, in every aspect in life. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, what is the best thing uh, that you like about English? Anybody? Samuel, what is your favorite part about English? My favorite part about English uh, that, that I can understand the video game. Okay. Good, good. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Mercy Carolina, what is the thing you don't like about English? Uh, in my case, I like the idiom, but I think the grammar, because it's more difficult, right. we have to know how we can connect the words. So maybe it's not that I, I don't like, but I think it's the most difficult thing. Okay, very good, very good, nice. Okay, uh, do you think English is more difficult than Spanish? Let's see, Coralia. Coralia? Are you here, Coralia? Josue Edgardo, are you no, here? No. Oh, okay. So what is your opinion, Coralia? Do you think English is more difficult than Spanish? Um, I think that every language has uh, the one uh, they're difficult because when you con when you start to, to know more about some idiom, you ever uh, you ever found a difficulty. Okay. In my, in my case, for me, it, the grammar is very difficult in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in, in general, you know, because of studies and, and experts, they say that uh, Spanish is definitely more difficult than, than mm -hmm. English. Mm -hmm. Spanish is more complete, mm -hmm. so there is more to learn. There is more to teach, so... Yes, Spanish is is it's more difficult. Is more difficult. Yes, mm -hmm. your favorite word in English. Let's see, Helen. Helen, Helen. I don't have a favorite word in English. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember the first word that you learned in English? Um. It's Love. not the first one, sorry. It's not the first one, but it was the uh, one of the 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 words that I learned that I always remember how to write it in my mind. Um, and I learned the the. It's rare because I said beautiful, but in my mind I say beautiful. <laughs> Okay. Because I try to remember how to write it. Okay. So that's my okay. interesting word. Okay, very good. Uh, Wendy, what do you think is more important? Listening, speaking, reading, or writing? I think all of these are important, but for my job, sometimes it's most important speaking because we have, I have to attend some clients in the hotel. Okay, very good. Araceli, can you hear me? Araceli, Araceli. Okay, maybe not. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Can you hear me, Araceli? Okay. How important is English in your work, Araceli? 
English in my work is it's more important for the 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 only person, for example, I receive call the the United States. Okay, so you have communication with people in the United States. Yes. Okay, good, good. Ronald, uh, what did you think of English at school? Well, I remember that I think in my school that English, it, it's a little bit boring. Uh-huh. But it was a mistake because nowadays I need to 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 learn English. So I I I lose I lost my opportunity, but always is is fine to to, to it's learn never English. too late. Yeah. Good, very good. Okay, do you worry about making mistakes, Magdalena? Magdalena, can you hear me? Okay, teacher. Yes, uh, do you worry about making mistakes in English? Yes, teacher, it's normal. It's, it's my, my making mistakes. Uh, my worry about making mistake in English. Yes. She mentioned something very important. She says it's normal. Yes, it is normal because we're all humans and especially adults, you know, we're like, maybe I will say something bad and, you know, so it's, 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 it, it's normal. Like she said. You, don't, you don't want to, to sound clumsy. Right, right. So nobody likes to make mistakes when, when they're speaking. So, but that is something that you shouldn't be worrying because if you worry about making mistakes, then you will block yourself. No, I won't say anything. So mm -hmm. try not to do it. Okay. Josue Edgardo, <clears throat> how will your life change if you were completely bilingual? Uh, I think I will enjoy more movies and, and music uh, because the, the dialogues in English are different than in Spanish. And a lot of things uh, like this. Okay, good, good. So music, television, okay. And Sophia, Stephanie, what is your opinion about grammar in English? Grammar English, it's it's a little difficult, but if you learn, uh, it's more easy. Uh, your uh, structure, your your sentence, and your develop. Okay. In the idioma. Okay. Good. Now, um, do you guys remember how you learned to speak Spanish? Did you make mistakes when you were learning to speak Spanish? Yeah. 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 It was normal. So just because the person makes mistakes doesn't mean that he or she is going to stop talking. You know, corrections come after. So now uh, you, your, your Spanish is, 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 is really good. So if you compare your Spanish right now and the Spanish that you had when you were a baby, you know, there's a big difference. So, so grammar, yes, it can be a little bit difficult, but you shouldn't be worrying about that. All right, any questions or comments about these questions? <laughs> No. Sure, uh, but how to how how are I know if I if I getting better speaking English? Okay, uh, there are different ways that you can know or find out if you're doing better. Um, I honestly I see the difference in many guys uh, here in the class 
that at the beginning of the course, you guys were a little bit quiet and now you guys are very open and that is good. So uh, going back to your question, you can take exams. So imagine that I said, okay, uh, <clears throat> date this exam right now and, and write the score and then take exactly the same exam in a month and then you will see the difference in, 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 in the scores. Or it all depends how confident the person feels when he or she is using the language. So, so it, it can be, you know, it can be a written exam or it can be how you evaluate your, your speaking and your listening skills. Okay. All right. Anybody else, any questions or comments? No. Okay, so let me go back here and all right. So this page here, page 35, is for you to analyze um, your work position. Let me see who was absent. Uh, Jimena Alexandra, she did not come. Rocio Berenice. Hello, teacher. Okay, yeah. very good. Uh, Luis, absent. Stephanie Montano, she's absent too. And Christian Omar. Okay, so can you see the questions that I'm showing you right now? Yes. Okay. So what is number one? Volunteer to read number one. Uh, Nico, me. Okay, uh, go what ahead. Activities, what activities do I need to perform in my job? Okay, very good. So that's going to be your first question that you need to answer. What activities do I need to perform in my job? Number two, mm -hmm. another volunteer, please. What is the specific skill do I need to perform my job? Mm -hmm. uh, I am, in a, am I a skill to perform my job? Very good, thank you. Number three, another volunteer. Number three. Number three, number three. Are Arith there any skills I look and that could help me to do to my job better? Okay, very good. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word lack? Falta. What is it? Falta. Yes. Lo que la persona carece, lo, lo, lo que le falta a la persona. So mm -hmm. are there any skills? Hay algunos um, skills, how do you say skills? Habilidades que me hacen falta que pudieran hacer mi trabajo mejor. And number four, last volunteer to read that part. What type of training program will be helpful to develop the skills I lack? I lack. Uh -huh. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule and my personal life. Online programs, one day job training, mentoring. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, uh, are there any questions or comments about the parts that your classmates read? Questions or comments? No. No. Okay. So I will send you to work in pairs, sometimes try it, and you will discuss that exercise. So move to uh -huh. Let me see this here. Move to 
right here. Room two. Move to room one. Move to room four. And she will go to room three. Then we go to room five, six. Uh -huh. Move to room seven. Move to room seven. And move to room eight. All right, so here we go, people. We're almost finished. So answer the four questions and talk about your job. Okay. Well, uh, we are going to discuss the questions. Exactly. Uh, what activity do I need to perform in my job? What activities do, I, do you need to perform in your job? Mm -hmm. In my Pero... exactly, it's totally different. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, ladies. How are you? It's raining, teacher. It's so Hi. hard. Really? Yes. yes. I have. Have... Wendy, you you live in Mexicanos, right? Yes, I live in Mexicanos. Rocio, you live in Escalón, yes. and it's it, it's raining in the two places. Yes, so yes. Not in Lourdes. It's really? No. <laughs> well, I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything, but maybe. Ya va a llegar. <laughs> maybe. In my house, it's raining so hard. So mm -hmm. I can hear it very well because for the for the noise of the raining. Yes. This, this year, 2020, uh, it has it's, brought a lot of rain in particular. Yes, yes, because the last year it was so... Dry. So dry. Yeah. And... Hacía bastante calor? It was very hot. It was very hot. Because yep. in that month, I feel like um, it's not raining anymore in September. Right. Yes, uh, if we compare 2019 with 2020, uh, 2019 was dry. And this year, it's, it's, it's very wet. Oh, I can see the rain in your house and the... Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard and my connection is on, on the table. Okay. Yeah, I can see there is a lot of strong rain. Yes, como estoy casi que en el patio se ve. 
Yes. <laughs> Don't get wet. No, no, no. All right. Um, all the office programs. I need to. And then I have to handle, handle with the. ¿Cómo se dice proveedores, teacher? Providers. Providers. Yes, thank you. I need to handle how to handle with the providers because they are a, they have, they they make me feel headache sometimes. <laughs> yes. I need to. Me too. Marcela, is it raining in your house right now? Yes, a lot. What about you, Helen? Is it raining in San Miguel? Only a, a little bit. And now, nothing. Yeah, and Lourdes doesn't than. have any rain either. Hmm. It's either. a new storm, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah, I saw I... a few. Whoa, do you listen to yeah, I hear Marcela's, uh, <laughs> yeah, the rain. Yes, it's raining a lot. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Wendy and Rocio, they are in two different places and they say that it's raining a lot too. Mm. Okay. But now, skills, Teacher, what is the the difference with the first ask, the, the first, first question? questions, and uh -huh. the second part of the questions? Okay. Uh, what activities do I need to perform in my job? Let me give you my example. I need to prepare classes. I need to check the book. And I need to look for extra material. Those are the activities that I need to do, right? Okay. Now, what specific skills do I need to perform my job? I have to be patient. Mm. And the other question, am I skilled oh. to perform my job? Do I have the qualifications to do my job? So the three questions are very different from each other. Okay. okay. Yeah, so number one is very general. Number two, the word specific, you know, you're being very detailed. And then you ask yourself, am I skilled to perform my job? Okay, okay, thank you. All right, good. Okay. Solving, no, como sería, resolving problem. The resolution. The mm. Ajá, o sea, chequear los reportes eh, de los problemas de los clientes. No, entonces sería el de... Ya. Che report de... De problem customer. The problem pro customer. Oh, the co customer problem. The customer's customer. problems, yes. Uh -huh. Customer problem. Yeah. Um... Creo que, ah, oh, bueno, este. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm tired. <laughs> yes. What time do you finish? Today finish 11 p.m. Okay. Uh, and yesterday, oh, you began at 11 yesterday, huh? Yes. Today, I finished my last uh, shift, shift at 7 a.m., but today, I, uh, I had to come in. I had to come in the, from 3 p.m. Okay. <laughs> and, and did you sleep well during the day today? I sleep just two hours. No. Yeah. So I really, really tired. Yes, I imagine. I imagine. Yeah. yeah, I I didn't sleep well last night and today I had to do different things. 
So maybe that's the reason why I feel tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. Araceli, how is your family, Araceli? My family is with It's a fine. My family is my dog. Is my is okay. Is my dog. Is my dog. And okay. I only three person in my house. Okay, it's a small family. Yes. Okay. Is it raining right now in in San Jose Villanueva? It's raining it's so much. I, yes. I can, I can feel you very well. I imagine, I imagine. Yes, because uh, Wendy, Rocio, Marcela, they are in different parts and it's raining a lot too. Yes, raining very raining, much. Raining so much. It's yeah, raining. yeah. In Lourdes, it's not raining. Mm -hmm. No, it's not raining. But I, I know that oh. the rain in San Salvador will come this way. Okay. It will visit us soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So okay. the rain is good when you are in your house. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yep. All right. Hello, hello. Hello. Did you finish doing the exercise? I really yeah. don't understand the, the, the activity. Okay, all you have to do is uh, answer the questions. For example, can you read the first question, Samuel? What activities do I need to perform in my job? Okay, so in my case, I need to plan my classes I have to revise the book and I have to look for extra material. That's one. Now, what specific skills do I need to perform my job? I need to be patient and I need to uh, have the students to feel well uh, in class. So in my skill to perform my job, that is your own criteria you answered that question. So am I skilled to perform my job? Yes, no, maybe 80%, 90%. So the questions are very different from each other. Okay, so we have to, to give a, a, an answer based in our, in our knowledge of our job. Exactly. Exactly, because uh, okay. you are you are the best person uh, to answer those questions about your particular responsibilities in your work. Okay, okay, thanks. Good, very good. Okay. Yes. Hello, Stephanie. Sofia, sorry. Yes, uh, <laughs> but yeah. it's nice to see you together. <laughs> Thank you, Coralia. You too. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Um, In which, uh, I think, question you, you. <laughs> How anyone uh, believes that I am the Helen that died? That, I was when I start my my job in, in the hotel. So it would be better if you if you change that. What was your first job in, in the hotel, Helen? Receptionist. Oh okay, yeah, you told me before. Yeah. Okay. I was and I was telling Marcella that I I was really Shine, shine. You were shy. Shy, yeah. You, but I'm you're not. not you're not shy in class. I, no, now I'm not shy in any every situation or uh -huh. with any person. But before, be, before I start to to work in the hotel, 
it was difficult to me to talk with anyone. Really? Really difficult, really difficult. And now it's normal. <laughs> yeah, because of your position in the hotel, I mean, you have to be very sociable with people. Exactly. Now I, I have to to give advices, to resolve problems. Uh -huh. So I need to, and I've been learning a lot in all these years. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. I think Marcela left. You think so? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think yeah, it's he... almost time. Let's go back yeah. to the main session. Okay, teacher. All right, welcome back. Okay, so are there any questions about the exercise you guys were doing? Any questions or comments? I have a comment. Yes, uh, Ronald. I f uh, uh, today I felt uh, difficult. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe because one of the exercises, the ones you were doing with, uh, with the vocabulary section, you had to pay extra attention to each mini paragraph and make the right connection. And uh, maybe that was it. Okay. Yeah, but I, I, I honestly think that the... the um, the activities were normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, students sometimes they feel that one day is more difficult than the other. It's, it's, it's normal. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anybody else? Any questions? Any comments? No. Okay. So, Christian Alexander, you need to stay. Um, in class after, when everybody leaves, you need to stay uh, for the extra session. Se tiene que quedar conectado. Yes. Okay, uh, so if okay. you don't have any questions or comments, thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. Have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. See you later. Bye. Christian. Hi, teacher. How are you, Christian? Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, good. So today, today is the day that you have extra minutes to speak with me just in case you have questions or comments about the class. Oh, okay. Um, How do you feel in the class, Christian? Uh, have How do you feel? ¿Cómo feel. se siente en la clase? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, very good, very good. Um, uh, a sí, a veces sí me, me cuesta como entender lo, lo que dice, o a veces sí, sí me cuesta, lo, le escuchas así, siempre. O, ok. Uh, y bueno, a veces que sí se me olvidan algunas alguna frases y algo, pero... Ahí voy, voy, tratando la manera de, 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 por lo menos, repasar. Como tengo algunos libros de, de, de inglés 1 y todo eso, pues a veces estoy tratando la manera de repasar y, y, y pues, estar fresco a, otra vez con, con, con lo que right. aprendí, volver a repasar y tratar de practicarlo. Right, yeah, porque usted de los que tiene mejor asistencia hasta ahorita, solo ha perdido un, un día. So mm, that is sí. good. Yes. Sí, sí, sí. That's sí, good. como le digo, o sea, sí, sí me gustaría aprender, o sea, que tengo, tengo esa actitud y la ganas de, de, de aprender bien este idioma, pero sí me cuesta un poco, la verdad, si le soy sincero, me cuesta un poco, pero ahí voy queriendo. Good. Este, good. Yeah, so, aprender con. Ya, yeah, no, está bien, y esa es la actitud, pues, porque muchas veces cuando la gente dice, fíjese que me cuesta, y, y 
hay veces que se agarran de eso para dejar de venir, pero su caso ha sido bien, bien contrario, que su, su asistencia ha sido bastante buena. Sí, claro. Sí, como le digo, que también tengo que repasar, tengo que hacer un espacio extra para seguir repasando, practicarlo y así va. Porque solo con estas dos horas es mentira, ¿no? siento que no. Exacto. Sí se aprende mucho, porque se aprende mucho, pero aparte creo que también tengo que tener una disciplina. ¿vale? Exactly. Two hours every day is good, but it's not enough. So you have to expose yourself to the language as much as possible. Cada uno tiene que exponerse al idioma lo más que pueda. Yes. No. Sí, incluso hasta viendo series ahí en Netflix, por lo menos las, las pongo en español, pero la traducción las, las pongo en inglés. Y ahí pues más o menos me voy también queriendo ahí. Good. Yeah. Eh, 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 uh, every, everything that you do in English is good. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. Um, it helps your, your, your skills. Yes. Ayuda su, 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 sus habilidades. Claro. Yeah. Do you listen to music in English? Yes, yes. Who the, is your favorite? The, uh, what? Who is your favorite? Mm, the music de, de los 70 y 80, music classic, romantic. Um, okay. Do you have a, a, a particular singer or a particular group that you like? Mm, no, no, um, oh, de uh, todo poco. Okay, a little bit of everything. Mm. A little bit of everything, un poco de todo. Ah, okay. okay. Good, good, all right. All right, do you have any other questions or comments, Christian? Mm, no, teacher, no. Okay, okay, so if you don't have any questions or comments, we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you yes. for your time. Yes. Have a good night. Okay, good night, teacher. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye. We have finished the class? Yes, it's, it's yeah, we finished the class, Samuel. Uh, okay, I don't know why you are talking just only with, with Fernando, but I think that is, you put it in a, in a, in a session, in a special session. Yeah, yeah, it, it's uh, it, he, the, the, because this week is different. Uh, every day, uh, one person is going to be assigned with 10 extra minutes. So, um, so in the same session, so it, that, that's why, um, what's his name stayed connected. <laughs> okay, because I don't know what to do. I don't know if I have to disconnect or wait or say something. I just want to be here and listen to the, the conversation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you're scheduled for Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Not tomorrow, but Thursday. Oh, okay. All right. Do you have well, any questions or comments, Samuel? Uh, I only have a, a question that I don't know if it's been related of the level uh -huh. we are but i really want to to learn how to speak in past okay because i have i have a lot of problems but i don't know if i have to be for example i don't know beginner level of beginner four beginner five no, i don't know you, you you're good with the level i mean you are very fluent you have a lot of vocabulary but i can send you um information related with the simple past tense if you want to yes please because uh, when i uh, talk uh, or i don't know how to say it but uh, when i have a conversation with my girlfriend yeah. uh, she always asks me things in past exactly i always give my an my answers like in present yeah it's and normal she, she always tell me but that is present. Why, exactly. why you you tell me the, the things in present? Uh -huh. uh, because I don't know how to to express myself, but in the past. Yeah, you know it, that is very similar. Like when a gringo is here, and the gringo tells you, "Oh, a year Joe here at la playa." You know, grammatically speaking, it's not good, 
but the message is clear. Yeah. Or, or he tells you, oh, la semana pasada yo ir a comprar zapatos. You know, grammatically speaking, it's not good, but the message is clear. But I can send you uh, information. Send me a WhatsApp chat and I will send you the information to, uh, to you. Ah, okay, yes, because that's, that's always my, my problem that I can, I know the meaning of the word in past, but I can say it because I don't know how to use it. All right. So, so that's, that is, I think, I believe that that's the only problem that I have because the, the, the other things, like for example, talking with you, you I can normally speak with you and you understand me and you, I can understand you. Right. I don't have problem with the listening or the speaking. Okay. But with with the conversation in past, I always have problems. Okay. S send me a WhatsApp and I and I'll send you some uh, some extra material so you can practice whenever you have the chance. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I think that that is okay. That is all. All right. Good. So we continue tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay, good night, teacher. All right, Thanks. good night. See you later.